What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a benchmarking test comparison of Huawei's Kirin chipset. So we got some devices here running on Kirin processor in the descending order of their performance and then we will see how much difference we are going to get in terms of benchmarking test score research. So each of them are running on different Kirin processor. Here we got P40 Pro with Kirin 990, Nova 7 with Kirin 985, Nova 5T with Kirin 980, Nova 7 SE with Kirin 820 processor, Nova 7i with Kirin 810, Y8P with Kirin 710. Kirin 990 processor is also used on Mate 30 Pro and Kirin 710 is also used on Y9S. But instead of these devices, we have selected P40 Pro and Y8P because these devices got the same processor but they are running on the latest software version of Emotion UI to get the best possible score from the benchmarking. So the benchmarking applications we got today here, they are Antutu Benchmarking, 3 Mark, Geekbench 5 and before we start, if you have not subscribed to this channel till now, then first of all hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon as well to get the notification for future uploads. So first of all, let's start with the Antutu benchmarking. So here you can have a look on the benchmarking test score result. So P40 Pro scored 467,916, Nova 7 scored 416,952, Nova 5T scored 386,718, Nova 7 SE scored 379,641, Nova 7i scored 302,037 and Y8P scored 192,069. So first position, second position, third position, fourth position, fifth position, sixth position exactly in the same sequence and pattern. And you can also have a look on the individual test score result of CPU, GPU, memory and UFs. So in CPU, the best performance is coming from Nova 7, after that it's P40 Pro, then Nova 7 SE, then Nova 5T, then Nova 7i, and then Y8P. In GPU, the sequence is same, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. When we talk about the memory, it's pretty much same, the only difference is this time that at 3rd position, it's Nova 7 SE, and after that, Nova 5T is at the 4th position. And when we talk about the UX, it's once again, in the exactly same pattern, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th. And you can also get the idea that how much difference we are going to get in terms of performance as well, considering all of these individual test score result and the overall test score result as well for entry benchmarking. So let's go back from here and now let's have a look on the 3D mark. It's a gaming benchmarking test and basically it's give the idea about the performance of GPU. This test is divided in two parts, Slingshot and Slingshot Extreme. And Slingshot Extreme is divided in OpenGL and Vulkan. So P40 Pro scored 4090 in Slingshot, 5706 in Slingshot Extreme OpenGL, 5481 in Slingshot Extreme Vulkan. Nova 7 scored 6173 in Slingshot, 5244 in OpenGL, 4931 in Vulkan. Nova 5T running on Kirin 980, it is scored 4113 in Slingshot, 4611 in OpenGL, 4410 in Vulkan. Nova 7 SE running on Kirin 820 processor, it is scored 5635 in Slingshot, 4620 in OpenGL, 4287 in Vulkan. Nova 7i scored 3235 in Slingshot, 2822 in OpenGL, and 2619 in Vulkan. Y8P scored 1599 in Slingshot, 1101 in OpenGL, and 1067 in Vulkan. So considering the average of these three tests, the winner is P40 Pro because it has scored highest points in Slingshot Extreme, OpenGL, and Vulkan. After that, we can consider the Kirin 985 running on the Nova 7. After that, the performance of Nova 7 SE running on the Kirin 820 processor is better compared to Kirin 980 processor running on Nova 5T because in Slingshot and Slingshot Extreme OpenGL, it has scored more point compared to 
Nova 5T. And when we are talking about the last two devices, so obviously Kirin 810 processor running on Nova 7i is better compared to Kirin 710 on Y8P. So first position, second position, third position, fourth position, fifth and sixth. Now let's go back from here and let's have a look on Geekbench 5. So Geekbench 5 is divided in CPU and compute and CPU is divided in single core and multi core. So here we are having a look on the compute test score result and as you can see Kirin 990 is the winner. After that it's Kirin 985, then Kirin 820, Kirin 980, Kirin 810 and Kirin 710. If you go back from here to the CPU test score result We can see that once again we are getting the same pattern that we have observed in the Antutu benchmarking. So first position considering both single core and multi core. After that it's Nova 7 with Kirin 985, Nova 5T with Kirin 980, Nova 7SE with Kirin 820, Nova 7i with Kirin 810 and Y8P with Kirin 710. So obviously Kirin 990 is the best, after that it's Kirin 985, the Kirin 980 and Kirin 820 are pretty much same in terms of benchmarking test score result and also the performance is going to be pretty much same as well, the difference is not too much. So if you get any device running on Kirin 820 or Kirin 980, the performance is going to be pretty much same, after that it's Kirin 810 and obviously at last we got Kirin 710 processor and as I said earlier, Considering all of these benchmarking test score result, you can also get the idea that how much difference you are going to get in terms of performance and which device you should buy considering the processor for your requirement and needs. So that's all for now friends. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon as well to get the notification for future uploads and I'll see you guys next time in an another video. Have a nice day.